welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to look at the concept of market equilibrium now in the free market system prices are determined by the interaction of demand and supply so notice in this diagram we have both the demand curve and the supply curve interacting together now equilibrium will occur where we have the demand curve intersecting the supply curve at a point such as P0, Q0. And we usually would denote it with a cursive letter E at this point. So we have quantity demanded being equal to quantity supply. We have equilibrium. But what happens in cases where we have price being above the equilibrium price such as p1 let's see what happens here so at a price such as p1 where is quantity demanded we'll have to look to see where this price cuts the demand curve which will be at this point here So we can call this Q1. And what happens to quantity supplied? We'll have to take the same price line and take it to the supply curve. We can call this level of output Q2. So what is going on here? Our quantity supplied, just Q2, is greater than our quantity demanded. And what happens when we have a situation where our quantity supplied is greater than the quantity demanded? What do we call that when we have excess supply? It's known as a surplus. Sometimes you would hear glut. There's a glut in the market, meaning there's too much being supplied. So what happens in a situation where we have a surplus in the market let's look at the situation with tomatoes if we have an excess supply or surplus of tomatoes it means that we have the quantity supplied of tomatoes being greater than the quantity demanded of tomatoes and so for the tomatoes not to rotten on the vendors hands what usually would take place they will have to lower price in order to get rid of this excess supply of tomatoes so notice as we have this price at P1 where we have the excess supply or the surplus price begins to fall price would fall and we all know when price falls demand increases so notice the demand curve we have an extension but what is happening with price when we have a fall in price we know that we have a contraction in the supply curve and so this fall in price leads to this movement along the demand curve and the supply curve and you notice that they all tend towards this equilibrium point here to settle where again quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied now let's look at another scenario where we have price being below the equilibrium point and we could look at a price such as p2 So if this is P2, to determine the quantity supplied and quantity demanded, we have to look to see where this price cuts these curves. So at a price of P2, our quantity supplied will be at a value such as, we can call it Q3, and we can look to see where it cuts the demand curve, which is here. We can call this Q4. Notice the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied. And when we have a situation where the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied, we have what we know as a shortage. 
an excess demand or a shortage and what usually happens when we have excess demand or a shortage what usually happens usually we have a situation where price would increase to ration the goods and services that are in supply so again looking back at the tomato situation when we have tomatoes in short supply that is when you would usually see the prices of tomatoes being very high so when we have the shortage occurring price would increase to ration the goods and services available and what happens when price increases when price increases look at the movement along the supply curve it would increase or expand and what happens to the demand curve when price increases there's a contraction along the demand curve so notice the supply curve is expanding the demand curve is contracting and it all heads towards again this equilibrium point so we see then that in a free market system prices always tend to come towards this equilibrium point where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied so to summarize in cases where the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied we have a shortage and a shortage leads to price increasing when we have quantity demanded being equal to quantity supplied this means we have an equilibrium position and so price remains constant where quantity demanded is less than quantity supplied we have a surplus and so price would fall i am adafi lushu i make economics videos if you like this video please like share and subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell